Hey guys, what's going on? Beef out here. Uh, going to paint a top water bass plug today. All right, guys. First things first. Um, we have a Lure Parts Online blank of a bass, or if you were going to use it for salt water, it could be a, a snook or a trout, or you know the kind of stuff we fish for uh, down here in West Central Florida. But. Um, Comes with rattles, comes with a back and a center hook, and obviously your tie off. But one thing it does come with is during the molding process, there is a, uh, if you guys can see this, I can get a little closer, maybe it'll focus. There's a seam where it was molded together. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take that down as simply as I can uh, with a uh, flathead screwdriver and just. But I found, in my experience, uh, the easiest and fastest and the best way to um, prime one of these baits, once you make sure you have any kind of molding lines off, is just simply with spray paint. Alright, so we've got a little bit of gold going on, just to kind of knock some of the white down. Um, don't worry about the head so much, because we're going to go over that with two shades of green. And you won't really, you won't really see much of what's on the head and the face, especially after we put the eyes on and stuff like that. But yeah, let me dry it off and give, it, give the uh, gun a quick rinse, and then we will go to a green. So the idea with this is not to put on too much at one time and not to color all the gold that we've done. So I'm going to start at the top and I'm going to work my way down just nice and slow. Next paint we're going to use is a Wicked Colors, it's a moss green, and this is, a, sorry it's a little dirty, um, Wicked Colors again is by Createx, but uh, we're going to use a moss green because I think this is probably the best color for uh, bass lures you can make. So I'm going to thin this stuff down and we're going to go ahead and coat some more. As you can see right now, it looks pretty poster board. But we're only using the colors underneath, except for some of the gold that's towards the bottom for shading. But now we're really going to put the, uh, put the correct colors on it. And this kind of paint, the more you put on, the darker it gets. So obviously I'm going to go heavier on the back than I would on the front on the bottom. So here we go. Start out by testing our gun. And I am pushing a little bit hard, so I'm going to pull my pressure down to about 18. Again, starting on the top. One pass. Turn it around to the other side. Clear your gun. Okay. A little bit around the face. All right. 
give it a little heat to dry. All right, give it a quick dry and then let's kind of layer some more green on, darken this guy up. Darken up around the face again. Well, we're getting there and you can now see that the initial green is pretty much gone. Back around the face again. And we are getting there. Almost there. I mean, if, if I was fishing in Tennessee, Fishing for open water bass, that'll probably be good enough. But I'm going to go for one more pass along uh, along the back and let it uh, fade over, so I can get these dark Florida bass to uh, want to come in. So another dry. Now these paints may look a little dull, um, perhaps, let me go a little closer. The paints may look a little dull right now, but as soon as I put the uh, clear coat on and seal it, um, everything pops amazing. All right, so it looks like I'm down to one last coat of the moss green. That's a dark Florida bass right there. Alright, so our last bit of painting here is we're gonna put some uh, put some dots on the side with some black. Let me shake it up good. Now this is a trick that I learned from someone else on YouTube. I don't remember their name. Um, but it was a good trick and I've used it ever since. Uh, paintbrush sets, 30 pieces for 99 cents. Um, fantastic, I use them for painting and I definitely use them when I clear coat. So if you can get these, get these. Uh, they're very cheap and they work pretty good. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tilt it up a little bit and this lure actually, if you can see, has a line, a lateral line going across the uh, side of the fish on both sides. So that gives me a good point of reference.
Okay, after looking at this guy, and you can see it here, um, I'm liking what's going on, but what I've decided I think I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna darken down uh, the back a little bit. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some uh, opaque black in my brush, and I'm just gonna kiss the top and try and blend in maybe to the side markings with a little bit of black so it's not such a drastic color change. So. Bee Fud. better. I think I actually used too much paint spraying my name. Let me add a couple of drops. See if I can't just kiss the sides a little bit. Kiss the edges on an angle. There we go. And one on this side. A little bit left, go around the face. Again, our bass in Florida are very dark. Alrighty guys, I have dried it off and I have installed my eyes from Lure Parts Online. They're just adhesive eyes. I've got different colors, different sizes. These size actually uh, you can look up when you buy the uh, blanks from any manufacturer what size the eyes are and, and again you need to buy the right eye size for the right eye sockets but that is my painted up top water lure um, I'll do another video on clear coating it and drying it and show you what I use and how I do it because that gets a little funky.